morning everybody. Today is our second day on the Kingdom and we have a big adventure plan today. about a six to eight hour tour around the island that includes being picked up by van. I think we go to Zakynthos town, check out the old port, the old city, and then finally we get to go to the famous shipwreck beach. Our first stop on our tour today is this viewpoint. There's a church behind us and it overlooks the entire island. There are 40,000 people on the island, 10,000 of which live in just this little town right here. This is the Quintos town. You can see the ferries coming in. He says that's the main point of contact with the mainland, other point being the airport. But this is where they get most of their goods and supplies from. After visiting the city center of Saquintos, we drove about an hour north to the port of St. Nicholas, where we boarded a boat to start our adventure towards Shipwreck Beach. The contrast of the white cliffs and bright blue water was breathtaking and we were in complete awe the entire time. It took about another hour to reach the northern part of the island where Shipwreck Beach was located and we knew we were there the minute the boat turned the corner. here is so blue has to do with the limestone walls all around us and the white rocks on the beach the very bottom of the ocean is pure white because of these rocks after spending some time at shipwreck beach we headed back south to the port of St. Nicholas, but first we stopped at the Blue Caves on the way back. We were in complete amazement that the captain was able to navigate the boat through the tiny cracks in the cliffs without hitting anything. stopped the boat right after the blue cave and swam around for about 30 minutes while we watched some people cliff jump. It's so beautiful. Where are we? Well, I don't... We just passed kind of by the blue cave. So let me see what I'm going in here.
Once we were back in the van, we headed to the viewpoint to get a bird's eye view of Shipwreck Beach. All the boats and tours were gone, and what was left was absolutely incredible. This olive tree right here is the oldest olive tree on the island. It's over 2,000 years old. While this olive tree is 2,000 years old, it is not the oldest. The oldest olive tree is on the island of Crete and it is over 5,000 years old. Well, we have been dropped off by our driver back at our apartment. So that is an end to our adventure today. It was a full, what, 12 hour day? 